Don't tell her no already, you know. The United States of America is not Jamaica. They deal with things quite differently. And they have a lot of resources. Not saying that we don't want to fight crime in Jamaica and hold criminals accountable. But the U.S. puts a bit more effort in it. And again, they have more resources, more time, more personnel, more agencies, etc., etc. So whatever crimes you get involved in, just know that eventually you will be paying the consequences. The first headline says, A Brookfield Man has been charged with a variety of drug crimes resulting from a double shooting a year ago. The next one says the man is accused of murder and he was caught and extradited to Vermont. Let's get into the story because this is a Jamaican or a Jamaican descendant that eventually got caught up in the U.S. system again. Here we go. The first one says, and they refer to him as a Hartford, Connecticut man, because that's where he resided. His name is Devon Dennis. You see his picture. Devon Dennis was accused of shooting two people in Brookfield, May 12th, killing one man and seriously injuring the other who he intended to kill. So he was going for a double murder. In the United States of America, what could have caused this? He has been extradited to Vermont. At this point, he was scheduled to face the judge to hear his fate. Devon Dennis, 43 years old at the time, of Hartford, Connecticut, he was brought back to Vermont by uniformed troopers, shackled and handcuffed from the Vermont State Police Field Force Division. Upon his return to Vermont, Dennis was processed and ordered to be remaining in jail without bail pending his arraignment. He is charged or was charged with one count of second degree murder connected to a May 12, 2023 fatal shooting of a person named Juan Sierra who was 27 years old of Springfield, Massachusetts and another count of attempted second-degree murder arising from the same incident and the shooting of Miguel Fuentes, a 29-year-old also of Springfield, Massachusetts. Investigators determined in July that the shooting was drug-related. The police learned that Dennis had traveled to Jamaica on May 13th from Bradley International Airport in Connecticut. He flew back from Jamaica shortly after, after spending months in Jamaica because he had been laying low, knowing that the law was looking out for him. According to them, he was trying to evade the law. He did the shootings. He had some people here in the US who he would stay in touch with, who he would ask them, yo, you heard anything? You heard them say anybody is the suspect. They looking for anybody. And the answer was, no, we haven't heard anything. They're not looking for anybody. I think they got somebody already. You good, bro. Why did he fly to Jamaica, though? He flew to Jamaica with all intentions of if his name came up, he would have stayed in Jamaica. But months had passed. And, you know, he was in Jamaica chilling with his people and... His name hadn't came up, or his name was up, but they hadn't released it yet to the public. So, fast forward to July 4th of 2024. The Connecticut man who shot two rivals over drugs, killing one of them, has been convicted on four felonies related to the shooting and drug activities of the Broomfield home where the shooting took place. At this point, he has already been caught. He has already been extradited back to the state where his crime was committed. He has already had a trial and he has already been convicted, found guilty. Devon Dennis, 43 years old at the beginning of all this, is 44 years old when he's found guilty. He is, he is described as a man from Hartford, Connecticut, but with Jamaican connections. He was convicted of second-degree murder, 
attempted second degree murder, aggravated assault with a weapon, and cocaine trafficking. Dennis was charged with six felonies related to the May 12, 2023 incident and was found not guilty on a manslaughter charge and one count of fentanyl trafficking. He was found guilty, though, of second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder. So that manslaughter charge, which would have been a lesser charge, he was found not guilty of that which is not a credit to him because if anything he would have went, wanted to be found guilty of instead of murder would have been manslaughter it's a lesser charge now after the shooting dennis originally fled the scene and immediately flew to jamaica from connecticut he was taken into custody about four months after when he thought everything was good, he flew back into Bradley International Airport and he was caught and extradited to Vermont to face the charges. The guilty verdict came on the 28th of June 2024 in Orange County Superior Court Criminal Division following a four-day in-person trial in front of a Superior Court Judge Elizabeth Mann. The case was originally scheduled to last about seven days or so. However, too much evidence right in front of them. It was easy for that decision to be made. The shooting left Juan Sierra, 27 years old, dead, and Miguel Fuentes, who was 30 years old at this point, with a bullet wound to his face. And of course, permanent damage and injuries that he will have to live with. Two face shots, one connected, one did not. Sierra and Fuentes, both of Springfield, Massachusetts, had arrived at this home. This is where you find out what could have caused all this. And Sierra and Fuentes, the two brethren them, Hispanic brethren, they both arrived at the home at 8769 Route 14, where Patricia Manning, who was 57 years old, and Joseph Riley Lumbra, who was 59 years old, both lived. The investigators said that the pair had allowed Dennis to take up residence at the home to sell drugs. They do that. Some people will be like, yo, let me use your basement, because some basement connect to the streets, right? And you could live upstairs and not have no business with the basement area. Basement will have its own entrance, exit, a basement apartment, right? So that's the relationship and the, or the, the agreement between the homeowners and the Jamaican connected you, Dennis. So he's there, he's doing his thing, he's selling his drugs. They allowed him to take up residence. Lumbra was arrested on May 29th and accused of three felonies and a misdemeanor for his role in the drug trade at his home. That is the man of the house, the 59-year-old. He was arrested because he allowed Dennis to actually stay there at the house and sell drugs downstairs. You know how that go already. I'll give you this much per week, blah, blah, blah. Lumbra was arrested May 29th for, and he was hit with three felonies. He remains jail at a Studge Southern State Correctional Facility in Springfield. Now, following Dennis's conviction, Dennis will be sentenced at a further court appearance, and he now faces a possible sentence of up to life in prison with a minimum of 20 years for the murder and the attempted murder charges, up to 30 years plus a fine of up to a million dollars for trafficking cocaine because of the amount of cocaine that was found and for up to 15 years and more than $10,000 fine for the conviction of aggravated assault with a weapon. I can predict how much time he is going to get. Somebody died because he shot them. It is said that the two individuals were friends of his and they had business dealings i don't know if he sold them cocaine that was not good or something like that they got into a discrepancy and 
he ended up shooting both of them. He is probably not going to do life without parole. However, because somebody died, it wasn't a cold-blooded murder kind of case like first-degree murder. It's a second degree. So I'm thinking he's probably going to do about 30 to 50 years. Either way, he's already 30-something years old or 40-something years old. He's 44. So 40 and 30 is 70. He'll be like almost an 80-year-old man before he's coming out of prison. That alone is a deterrent. To be coming out of prison at 80 years old, going in at 44, that's rough. Either which way you take it. I know a lot of people are going to say, if he was in Jamaica, he probably wouldn't even be getting that, that much time. Because people do worse than that in a Jamaica and them come out in a 10 years. These kind of things. Right? But this is not Jamaica. That's the moral of the story. Anyways, leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.